already here, 26th of January 2011. It's exactly six weeks today uh, since I finished my treatment and I can feel the difference as time goes on. I no longer have to take um, painkillers and the amounts I were doing. I probably take uh, two to four a day. Um, but I've only had two today, so I mean, it's a good sign that there's no pain or discomfort. Um, I went on Monday, I don't know how many people know this, but I had a kidney transplant nearly 27 years ago. And all that time, I've been on a, on a medicine called Isothiaphrine. It's an immunosuppressant. Now, in this isothiaphrine, there is a, a cancer factor attached to it. It doesn't actually cause cancer, but it doesn't help it. So what the doctors have decided to do now is uh, change my medication. They're weaning me off the isothiaphrine. And I started yesterday on an oral solution called Sirolimus. Although this, although this um, has a, a cancer attachment, it is a lot less likely taking this medication than the azathioprine. So, touch wood, I'm going to get used to that. I've got to go back in a fortnight, take some bloods, and um, if it is suiting me, then we'll carry on um, and we'll get rid of the azathioprine. So there'll be less chance of me getting cancer. So that, that's part of good news. More good news is that um, um, I'm brushing my teeth normally now, whereas before I couldn't stand to put a toothbrush in my mouth. And it, um, so all the pain has gone. Um, there is still swelling in there though, and, and in the throat. And I'm just, I'm drinking tea now, or coffee, but I've got to concentrate, I've got to be really careful when I swallow. Uh, but I think I'm getting there with it. It's, um, we're not using my throat for a long time, because I've been using the feeder peg. Um, obviously, that doesn't help as well as the, the swelling. But I'm getting there. I'm not eating yet, uh, orally. I'm still taking the um, Fortibus, which is the energy drink, through the feeder peg. And I must say that I do feel really, really good. Um, once I've got the, um, the swelling at the back of my throat down and that, um, I should then be able to talk a bit more normal, although I know I'm talking a lot more normal than I was before. So it's like onward and upwards, everything seems to be um, going according to plan. Whatever the doctors have told me regarding the cancer and its treatment, it's exact to what they are saying. I mean, they have said that this swelling in my mouth and that could take a couple of months to go down, uh, but at last it's not causing me any discomfort. So we're going strong now. Anybody who's looked at my videos on YouTube, if you scroll down to the bottom, um, you'll see me what I enjoy doing best, and that's um, singing one or two songs. And uh, of course I used to be an entertainer. I did that for nearly 20 years finished that in 2001. Now the thing is, um, I actually did a little bit of singing today, because I've got equipment set up for that in my room, and um, although the voice isn't strong, I'm still singing in key, fortunately, or unfortunately for some. But no, the thing is, um, it just proves that the um, the vocal cords haven't been affected um, like what they may have been 
uh, in the first place. And, they, and they're said in the first place that with the radiation, they would be sailing close to the volatile floors. And fortunately, I think they've not touched them. And as my as I get stronger and my voice gets stronger, everything will again come back to normal. I'm still um, getting a dry mouth, but not as dry as it, as it was. And it's nice to be able to drink hot drinks, well, cool drinks, instead of just water. Uh, in the night, my mouth still dries up quite a lot. And I can wake up between three and five times a night just to have a sip of water um, to get the mouth moist again. Because it's not pleasant, no, it's not uncomfortable or anything, but it's just not pleasant to have a really, really dry mouth. So, all in all, um, I'm going next Monday to see the speech therapist again. Um, last week she gave me about ten different jaw exercises and tongue exercises and um, hopefully she's going to give me a few more and we'll get as strong as we can as quick as we can um, the other thing I, I have got um, uh, fluid in my in my right ear now I had this years back but that seems to have come back but so I'm sure that will um, go away as, as time goes on so I'm going to leave it at that for this week and I hope you enjoy me again next week on Freddy's Head and Neck Cancer Journey. Thank you for following me. Thank you.